Welcome back, aviation enthusiasts. We will be counting down the 13 biggest planes in the world from cargo carriers to military giants. These aircraft are truly a marvel of engineering so let's not waste any time and dive right into our list. But before we dive into the countdown, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode of the one that's around the world, and don't forget to leave a comment about the airline you love best. Starting up our list with number 13, we have the Airbus Beluga XL with a maximum takeoff weight of 227 tons. Airbus Beluga XL is uniquely created to transport massive components and cargo between the various Airbus European production sites. This model's innovators borrowed many ideas from the A33200 freighter model. Beluga XL incorporates a larger fuselage suitable for heavier and bulky cargo. As one of the most oversized cargo ever designed, it has an optimal takeoff weight of about 227 tons therefore it can accommodate about 51 tons of cargo for about 2,200 nautical miles. Beluga XL is one of the most outstanding achievements of the Airbus production process. Moving on to number 12 we have the McDonnell Douglas MD-11. McDonald's Douglas MD was built in 1990 and 2000 as a trijet commercial aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight of 286 tons. It can accommodate 430 passengers in its unique three-class configuration and fly up to 7,144 nautical miles without refueling. Powered by three advanced engines, MD-11 had a wingspan of approximately 169 feet. The MC-11 has three engines, two wing-mounted and one tail-mounted. It features advanced features like a fly-by-wire control system and advanced engineering technologies that make the flight more stable and powerful. McDonnell Douglas MD-11 made loading and unloading effortless. Unfortunately, stiff competition from Airbus A34040 and Boeing 747 stopped its production. Both aircraft were more energy-efficient and technologically advanced than MD-11. Above all, MD-11 remained stable among white-body aircraft and other cutting-edge aviation achievement. At number 11, we have the Airbus A350-1000. The Airbus A350-1000 is the largest variant of the A350 family, boasting a maximum takeoff weight of 219 tons. It can carry 250 to 410 passengers in a third-class configuration and fly up to 8,700 nautical miles. The A350-1000 aircraft has been operational since 2018 and has quickly become a top choice amongst many airlines. This aircraft incorporates cutting-edge technology These technologies can include a fly-by-wire system an advanced cockpit with a large display and an improved management system. The aircraft is impressive and powered by True Rolls-Royce Trend XWB97 engines providing up to 97,000 pounds of thrust each. Moving to number 10, the Boeing 777-300ER. Commonly referred to as the 777, is an American long-range wide-body airliner developed and manufactured by Boeing commercial airplanes. Created as the next step under Boeing 777-200, the 777-300 was first approved in 1995 and launched at the Paris Air Show that year. It did not go into commercial use until 1998 when an order to Cathay Pacific was fulfilled. With a 73.8 meter length, it is 3.4 longer than the 747-400. It has a wingspan of 61 meters. Emirates is the largest operator of the 777-300 and interestingly is the only airline to have protected every single 777 variant. There are currently over 1,400 of these jets in commercial use. Next up, is the Airbus A340-600 which is the ninth world's longest passenger aircraft at 75.3 meters long. Even with the maximum range, of 12,900 kilometers, it can compete with its competitors, just as in consumption, it only needs 4.1 liters per 100 kilometers and passenger, and it is equipped with particularly quiet engines. 
the aircraft can accommodate 297 passengers, with a total length of 75.27 meters, a wingspan of 63.45 meters, a height of 17.29 meters, a cruising speed of 885 kilometers per hour, a maximum altitude of 12,600 meters, a maximum takeoff weight of 368,000 kilograms. Landing weight 259,000 kilograms, cabin width of 5.3 meters, and 297 seats. At the eighth position, we have the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, which is an American long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which has continued to provide support and upgrades. It has been operated by the United States Air Force since the 1950s. The bomber can carry up to 70,000 pounds of weapons and has a typical combat range of around 8,800 miles without aerial refueling. Beginning with the successful contract bid in June 1946, the B-52 design evolved from a straight-wing aircraft powered by six turboprop engines to the final prototype YB-52 with eight turbojet engines and swept wings. The B-52 took its maiden flight in April 1952. Built to carry nuclear weapons for Cold War-era deterrence missions, the B-52 Stratofortress replaced the Convair B-36 Peacemaker. A veteran of several wars, the B-52 has dropped only conventional munitions in combat. The B-52's official name Stratofortress is rarely used, informally, the aircraft has become commonly referred to as the buff, big ugly fat fucker slash fella. Moving on to number 7, we have the Boeing 747-400 Large Cargo Freighter, which is a wide-body cargo aircraft modified extensively from the Boeing 747-400 airliner. With a volume of 65,000 cubic feet, it can hold three times that of a 747-400F freighter. The outsized aircraft, known as the Dreamlifter, was designed to transport Boeing 787 Dreamliner parts between Italy, Japan, and the US, but has also flown medical supplies during the COVID-19 pandemic. Next up, is the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy. This is a large military transport aircraft designed and built by Lockheed and is now maintained and upgraded by its successor, Lockheed Martin. It provides the United States Air Force with a heavy intercontinental range strategic airlift capability, one that can carry outsized and oversized loads, including all air certifiable cargo. The Galaxy has many similarities to the smaller Lockheed C-141 Starlifter and the later Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. The C-5 is among the most significant military aircraft in the world. The Lockheed Galaxy has a length of 75 meters, a wingspan of 68 meters, a cruise speed of 869 kilometers per hour, and a General Electric YF-39 engine. Breaking into the top 5, we have the Antonov N-124 Ruslin. This is a heavy lifter aircraft intended for the transportation of heavy and oversized cargo and various special purpose vehicles. The N-124 rides on 24 wheels. The front landing gear has two wheels you need which are terrible, the front landing gear is adjustable which allows the transport to the new to assist cargo loading, the main landing gear configuration consists of 10 wheels on each side. The N-124 has an engine configuration that produces a top speed of 540 miles per hour, a cruise speed of 500 miles per hour, and a range of 3,300 miles, with a service ceiling of 40,000 feet. The plane can operate in extreme conditions and land on rough airfields and hard-packed snow. It features nose and tail cargo doors for simultaneous loading and unloading. Coming to number 4 we have the C-17 Globemaster III, which is the most flexible cargo aircraft to enter the airlift force. The C-17 is capable of rapid strategic delivery of troops and all types of cargo to main operating bases or directly to forward bases in the deployment area. The aircraft can perform tactical airlift and airdrop missions and can transport litter and ambulatory patients during aeromedical evacuations. The inherent flexibility and performance of the C-17 force improve the ability of the total airlift system to fulfill the worldwide air mobility requirements of the United States. The C-17 is capable of meeting today's demanding airlift missions. 
The C-17 measures 174 feet long, 53 meters, with a wingspan of 169 feet, 51.75 meters. The aircraft is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 PW-100 turbofan engines, which are based on the commercial Pratt & Whitney PW-2040 used on the Boeing 757. Each engine is rated at 40,440 pounds of thrust and includes thrust reversers that direct the flow of air upward and forward to avoid ingestion of dust and debris. Additionally, thrust reversers provide enough thrust to reverse the aircraft while taxing backward and creating in-flight drag for maximum rate descents. The design characteristics give it the capability to operate into and out of short runways and austere airfields carrying large payloads. Maximum use has been made of commercial off-the-shelf equipment, including Air Force standardized avionics. In third position, we have the Airbus A380, which is a large wide-body airliner that was developed and produced by Airbus. It is the world's largest passenger airliner and the only full-length double-deck jet airliner. Airbus studies started in 1988, and the project was announced in 1990 to challenge the dominance of the Boeing 747 in the long-haul market. The then-designated A3XX project was presented in 1994, Airbus launched the $10.7 billion A380 program on December 19, 2000. The prototype was unveiled in Toulouse on January 18, 2005, with its first flight on April 27, 2005. It then obtained its type certificate from the European Aviation Safety Agency and the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration on December 12, 2006. The full-length double-deck aircraft has a typical seating for 525 passengers, with a maximum certified capacity of 853 passengers. The Airbus is powered by Engine Alliance GP7200 or Rolls-Royce Trent 900 turbofans providing a range of 8,000 meters. As of December 2021, the Global A380 fleet had completed more than 800,000 flights over 7.3 million block hours with no fatalities and no hull losses. As of December 2022, there were 237 aircraft in service with 16 operators worldwide. Coming in the second position is the Boeing 747-8, which is a wide-body airliner formerly developed by Boeing Commercial Airplanes, and the largest variant of the 747. After introducing the 747-400, Boeing considered larger 747 versions as alternatives to the proposed double-deck Airbus A3XX, later developed as the A380. The stretched 747 Advanced was launched as the 747-8 on November 14, 2005, for a market forecast of 300 aircraft. The first 747-8F freighter performed its maiden flight on February 8, 2010, and the passenger Intercontinental followed suit on March 20, 2011. The cargo version was first delivered in October 2011 and the airliner began commercial service in June 2012. Its fuselage is stretched from 18 feet to 250 feet, making it the longest airliner until the 777X, which first flew in 2020. While keeping its basic structure and sweep, the wing is thicker and deeper, holding more fuel, and wider with raked wingtips. Powered more efficiently than the preceding 747s by a smaller version of the General Electric turbofan from the 787 Dreamliner. Its maximum takeoff weight grew to 975,000 pounds. The freighter version has a shorter upper deck and can haul 308,000 pounds over 4,120 nautical miles. The intercontinental version can carry 467 passengers in a typical three-class configuration over 7,790 nautical miles. A total of 155 aircraft were built including 107 freighters and 48 passenger airliners. The final aircraft, a 747-8F, produced as Line 1574 747 built, was delivered to Atlas Air on January 31, 2023. At the top position, we have the Antonov An-225 Maria, which was originally developed during the 1980s as an enlarged derivative of the Antonov An-124 airlifter for the express purpose of transporting Buran-class orbiters. 
On December 21, 1988, the In-225 performed its maiden flight, only one aircraft was ever completed, although a second airframe with a slightly different configuration was partially built. After a brief period of use supporting the Soviet space program, the aircraft was mothballed during the early 1990s. Towards the turn of the century, it was decided to refurbish the In-225 and reintroduce it for commercial operations, carrying oversized payloads for the operator Antonov Airlines. Multiple announcements were made regarding the potential completion of the second airframe, however, its construction has largely remained on hold due to a lack of funding. By 2009, it had reportedly been brought up to 60 to 70 percent completion. With a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons, the In-225 held several records, including the heaviest aircraft ever built and the largest wingspan of any aircraft in operational service. It was commonly used to transport objects once thought impossible to move by air, such as 130-ton generators, wind turbine blades, and diesel locomotives. Additionally, both Chinese and Russian officials had announced separate plans to adapt the In-225 for use in their respective space programs. The Maria routinely attracted a high degree of public interest, attaining a global following due to its size and its uniqueness. And there you have it, the 13 most giant planes in the world. These incredible aircraft showcase the ingenuity and engineering progress of the aviation industry. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more aviation content. Until next time, fly high and stay adventurous.